Welcome back. It's time now for our weekly discussion with the Pacific Coast Business Times. Today we're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope with Julia Staley. Julia, good afternoon. Thanks so much for talking with us. We appreciate it. So much buzz around the world last week when we started seeing these incredible images from billions of years ago. You found several local companies linked to this amazing project. Talk about that. Yes, it was actually quite easy. So NASA's James Webb website, um, which is web.nasa.gov, actually um, has an institutional partner database, very easy to navigate. On there, they have an interactive map of the entire world since the telescope was an international collaboration. Um, and all of the contributors who worked on that um, telescope are geographically pinned on their database, which is how um, anyone can find and look at the companies nearby that contributed. And so you really are focusing on three local companies, kind of tick them off and their involvement in the project. Yes, so Thousand Oaks Space Teledyne Technologies um, contributed the infrared image detectors that are on the Webb telescope. And those are what are allowing us to see the images that NASA released on July 12th of the new um, objects in space, including an exoplanet with water detected on it, uh, among other very exciting things. Um, those infrared sensors are on three of four of the web instruments using um, battery being used to explore deep space right now. And then Enzyme Bickford Aerospace and Defense is a company based in Connecticut, but their Moore Park Engineering and Operations Facility um, made and sent 178 parts, which were shipped to the telescope when it was being held in Northrop Grumman's facility down in Redondo Beach. And those parts are hold down release mechanisms, which operate according to their name. So when the James Webb was launched on December 25th this past year, those mechanisms helped keep the telescope together, almost like an umbrella. And once the telescope was launched into space, those same mechanisms helped open up the telescope and its various parts and mechanisms. And then Next Intent is another company. It was, um, or it was started in 1996 and is based in San Luis Obispo. It manufactured 150 test bed actuator assemblies as well as 150 corresponding mounters. And those are currently on the backside of the James Webb 18 mirrors, which are being used to capture light from billions of years away um, that we can see in the photos NASA has released to us thus far. 